Hi guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. So today I have a very random, very collective haul for you guys. Um, a little while back I went shopping with my sister Jordy and we went to a bunch of different places. So I think this is everything I bought that day. Um, oh, except for the stuff from Bath and Body Works. I already filmed that for you guys and uploaded it as a separate haul on the actual day we went. So this stuff is all from that same day, but... I have it still sitting here in a bag. So clearly, probably one of the places I went was Ulta, but I went a bunch of other places too. So let's just get started and I will show you guys my very random collective haul. I think most of it is beauty related. Um, I do have one clothing article item thing in here. So let's talk about that first. I bought this at Target and it's a little black dress. It is from the line Mossimo, and it was $22.99. Um, my dog is behind me, so I can't really back my chair up to like stand up and show you guys the dress, which was my original intention. I tried it on, and I mean, I used to be more slender, so I might have been able to fit in a small back then. I thought I'd need a large now, but the medium was the right size. So the top is just a little tank top, like camisole style, and then it goes into like an A-line skirt. And at the very bottom of the skirt, there's like this fringe detailing, which makes me think of gypsies or something. And it's just a super cute, super simple, really nice summery dress. I really like the feel of the material. I think it's just like rayon or something, but it's adorable. And if I wore it with an overshirt, I could even wear it to work. It's throwing off the lighting in here terribly. But anyway, that is my little dress. And I really like it. And I'm happy I have it and I'm excited to wear it. Next, we have my one little item from Lush. Uh, we stopped, <clears throat> excuse me, we stopped in to Lush. The bag is throwing off the light my lighting, I swear. We stopped in Lush and I wanted everything. And they had these really cool boxed sets of bath bombs that are like discounted if you buy like the set, which is like a beautiful gift set. Um, I shouldn't just be buying it for my own personal pleasure anyway. It should be like towards something more worthy. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is I did indulge in one bath bomb. I think this one was called Ocean Something. I don't know if you guys know the name of this bath bomb. Feel free to leave it in the comments below. But I can see like some seaweed sticking out from right there and it's just um, teal and white and it matches my bathroom perfectly. I would display it if I could. Kind of looks like a Pokeball to me, which I just downloaded Pokemon Go. So if you guys are playing Pokemon Go, Thumbs up for that and comment below. I only caught one so far because I like literally just downloaded it and I didn't even really watch or play Pokemon when I was younger, but something about having a collection of Pokemon really spoke to me. I want a freaking Pikachu and there's a cute Pokemon near my house, I can tell, but I can't find it. Anyway, that's also not the point, but this smells amazing. Um, it definitely has seaweed, it definitely has salt, and I forget what else it has, but I'm sure it has some nourishing oils. So I'm very excited for this bath bomb. I feel like I'll be pretending that I'm a piece of sushi when I'm soaking because of all the seaweed I see in there. So I have that and some dust on my hands. Next we went to the body shop and we went there because I needed a new face powder. Uh, this is the face powder I've been using since like 2010 or something, maybe even longer, I'm not sure, since before I even worked at the body shop. And as you can see, I hit pan on this one. This is not the same one that I've had since 2010 or whatever. Um, I've gone through like six of these. This is the all-in-one face space in the shade 03. And I've been hooked on this forever. So that's my old one. Um, I needed a new one because I can't really take that one in my purse. I'm afraid it'll like break apart on me. So I went to the body shop. I renewed my membership card, which I never know whether I should do or not because I'm always like, well, am I really going to get a better deal um, if I only shop here once a year and I renew the card every time? I feel like I'm spending more money. You know, they're kind of tricky how they get you. And I used to work there, so I know what's good, but I do love the company and I do love the product. So, you know, whatever, I'll support them. So here is my brand new all-in-one face base with the reflection and the plastic still on there. Like I said, just a replacement. Um, I was thinking I should probably branch out into a new powder. Cat's doing weird things over there. Um, I was thinking I should branch out into a new powder, maybe like one that we sell at my store, but I just like this one so much. So anyway, the other thing I bought was on sale. Um, it was marked down 
to ten dollars from I think originally twenty two or something, which I think is way too much money. I think that ten dollars is about right for this, if not less. But this smells amazing, you guys. So this is the special edition blueberry body scrub gelay. So it's an exfoliant in a gel base, which I've never seen, and it smells amazing. It almost smells like their traditional peach fragrance oil. Doesn't really smell like blueberries to me, but here, look at it, you guys. It looks like food. It looks like blueberry jam. It's got like seeds, like and texture, and I think it's got like raspberry or blackberry seeds, to be honest. But maybe they're blueberry seeds, and I just don't know. But oh my gosh, it smells so good. I don't even care if it does a good job exfoliating. I just want to smell like this all the freaking time. This is amazing. So I bought this, and I forgot I bought this actually until right now when I started showing you guys stuff so now I'm super excited to put this into my shower and use it later let's see what else we have here what else did I forget that I bought oh nothing that exciting actually the rest of the stuff in here is more practical and the rest is all from Ulta I don't know why these are in here like you guys care but I bought new razors um yeah I am for the removal of body hair these are the Gillette Venus embrace with five blades if you guys care what kind of razors I'm using right now. I like them. That's so funny that they're still in there. I would have sworn I put those in the bathroom, but the box is even open and everything. I like ripped into it to keep, I'm just silly. The next thing I have here is a Miss Spa Pore Minimizing Facial Peel Off Mask. Refines and de-emphasizes pores with tea tree extract, which tea tree is antibacterial. Um, I just got cactus flower extract, bergamot. So yeah, little pouch of product. We're gonna try it out. Maybe we'll try it out together, and you guys can like watch me have an opinion on it. I should do that kind of stuff. I should do videos where I'm masking, or at least like go on Periscope and promote my YouTube channel. Do you guys use Periscope? Oh, do you like my eyeshadow today, you guys? It's um, it's a bunch of stuff, but it's mostly Lounge and Solstice by Urban Decay. Although I put a base down of. Something by ColourPop that Coffee Break with Danny collaborated on. I don't know. The one that looks like these. Anyway, so I have this little thing that I'm waving around at you frantically. You know why I'm waving it? Because I'm down to only two more things after that. And I'm afraid to turn off the camera because once I start talking, I'm having so much fun. And I'm just like, well, let's talk about the things some more. Like, go back and talk about the things we already talked about. So calm down, Jackie. Maybe they just want a short video today. Well, this will be, you know, reasonably so. We're almost, almost done. Next. <clears throat> This was really a trip about replenishment. I should have taken a sip of water before I started. I am so sorry. Excuse the frog in my throat. So we sell cosmetic wedges at my store and I have like a million beauty blenders because I get those free from work all the time. I have beauty blenders coming out of my ears. But sometimes when my skin is like extra breaky outy or if I'm in a hurry, I like to just use these cosmetic wedges instead of a beauty blender because then I can just throw them out and move on with my life and there's less stuff to wash and it's new so it's clean every time. So when my skin's super bad or if I'm helping someone else with their makeup, this is what I use, which I don't do other people's makeup that often, but you know, once in a while. So this is just the Ulta brand 96 value pack of beauty wedges. I think it's $6.99 for this. I don't know, I had $6 off at Ulta because I had points, but I really like these. So. These are the ones I keep buying. I get really mad when they're sold out of them. Like, even when I'm not trying to go buy those, I still check there. Like, when I go to Ulta, I always check if these are in stock or not. And when I get, like, offended when they're not because I'm insane. Even when I'm not going to buy them. Is that weird? It's like I just want them to be there for me all the time. But, like, other people should be able to use nice things too, Jackie. So, like, be okay with it. All right. And this is, I think, yep, other than a bunch of receipts, which I don't want to look at. This is the very last thing in my bag. And again, most of this stuff is just like replenishment necessity stuff. Um, it's not super exciting, but you know, it's stuff and we can talk about it and I can give you guys my opinions on it. This is a conditioner or well, a hair mask rather that I talk about all the time. I wish we sold this at my store. We sell other ones that are about the same price point that are just as good, but none of them smell like this one and I'm crazy about it, and I really like when it's buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off, or buy two, get one free, or whatever their deals are. Um, I'm very fond of getting this at a discount, but it's only, I think, $14.99 for this, and I've been waving it around and flopping it around, and I should just tell you what it is. 
This is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask with Curavis Protein and Argan Oil. Deeply conditions, repairs, and strengthens for all hair types. And I love it. I use it every single day. I don't know if that's bad, but it says it deeply conditions, repairs, and strengthens dry and damaged hair. Did I just say that? No, I don't know. I said other stuff, but this stuff's really good, and it smells really good, and it's made in Israel, which is something I like. Um, I know that's kind of like a touchy subject, and people are either very pro-Israel or very anti-Israel, and we won't get into politics here, but um, for what it's worth, I'm half Israeli, so, you know. And as I said, we just don't need to get into it if you guys, uh, you know, politics and beauty don't mix, right? Let's just smell this. So I'm not sure what to describe the fragrance as. It's like floral, but vanilla-y at the same time. And I like that it's not too much of either, but it's just wonderful stuff. Really good hair mask. And now this video is 11 minutes long. So if you made it all the way to the end, the secret word of the day is hair mask so leave that in the comments below if you guys are still watching give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't already we do all kinds of stuff here on my channel I vlog um, I do hauls I do favorites I show you all kinds of stuff I work in the beauty industry so sometimes there's fun things going on and you know if we get enough of a response people are into it maybe we'll do a giveaway or something who knows but anyway I love you all so much I thank you all for watching and I will see you all tomorrow Bye.